Hi guys and welcome. We are here commentating the final of the Card Cavern Cup. Um, it is Sasha Stark versus Chantel Emerton. Uh, I'm James from Team Calamity. And I'm here Martin from Team Calamity. And uh, here we go. So Sasha looks to be going first as he's drawn his sixth card. Looks to see like he's got a good curve going on here. He's got both the Yuna, he's got a Waka and a Braun. So yeah, it looks like he's... Yep, he's going for the Yuna. Mm-hmm. And he's passing turn. All right, fair enough. From the looks of it, he's probably just playing Mono Water. It'll good, be good to see. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Chantel is on ice. Uh, she's gone for a very aggressive snow play. Yeah. Uh, normally when people play snow turn one, it's because they don't have better backups. So okay. we'll see if that uh, will be the case. So he's gone for the Braun and he's grabbing the Viking because he's already got Knight. So he's got the Viking. So he's got both Layla and Lena online. Very strong start from Sasha so far. Yeah. Probably end up playing the Wacker next turn and maybe a Viking. Get his curve out, get a forward out, draw a card. Oh, okay, Celeste. Oh, there we yep. go. That'll uh, slow that down. Yep, freezing the Yuna. So he's see what is going to happen but it's probably just going to be the whacker and pass yeah okay discard the ephemeral yep yeah, there's the whacker yep and passes turn yeah pretty standard water stuff oh swing with the Silas. yep artemisian See no EX burst there, no forward to uh, deal the damage with Celez. No backup either from Chantel, she seems to be very starved on backups. Okay, so he's going for the Lena plane, targeting, I assume, the Knight. E yep. Yep, there we go. Nice 7,000, 8,000 to start. And playing a Gladiator. So it's now 8,000 power Knight to an 8,000 power Lena. So that can crash with the Sellers if need be, because he can only dull the one with the snow. He'll probably dull the Lena. Let's see what Chantel does. Okay, so Chantel's on Fire Ice. Oh, Emperor Castal, very nice. What is she targeting? The Lena? Oh, no. Okay. Now it's just an easy swing with the Celes. Yeah, just dull the dull the knight. Can deal the knight four thousand, but can it finish it off? Uh, is that scholar on damage? Mm-hmm. Oh, just passing. Sasha's hand is just pure gas. <laughs> no, this is where just Sasha could go full aggression. Play Layla into the Viking, Cloud of Darkness, wipe his board. See how aggressive he wants to be. Tap four. Oh, no. no tapping two. Oh, oh no, changes his mind. <laughs> <laughs> yep, going for the uh, Layla into the Viking. Draw a card. Draw another Yuna. Oh, that's lucky. I was a bit surprised when he discarded the first one. Oh, and the second one. Apparently, that card means nothing to him. Oh, he's got the Yuna on board. Oh, <laughs> oh fair enough. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it stands to reason. <clears throat> So his first backup that he played. Uh, oh, that was too long ago for me to remember. Right, it's not looking great. I mean, at least Sellers has a target that she can hit, which is the Viking. However, needs to get through that 8k knight. Yeah. Oh, lock. 
Okay, but no trigger. It does have oh, a no, trigger. it does have a trigger. Yeah, yeah Emperor Gastar is FF6. You are correct. Is it discarded Porum? Yeah. It's really valuing that Cagnazzo. Yeah, I think it's just another case of uh, too little, too late. Oh, haste. Is that target in the lock, I'm guessing? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yep, dull in that. So, they're going to. Sasha's going to have to chump block that or lose a card from his hand. Yeah, I'll probably just block with the Viking. Yep. Which it looks like. Yep. Okay, draw a card. Uh, grabs Chuchu Lane. Um, now, Celez attacks, dulling the. Yep, dulling the Layla. And Celez can successfully kill. That Layla? Yep. Oh. All oh, right, Poopy off the EX. Oh, I was like wondering what he was doing then. <laughs> <laughs> and yep, killed the Layla with the Sellers, as expected. Oh, wow. breaking the Emperor. Okay. Okay, grab another, another one. Em yeah. Wow, double Emperor Gaston. This is the most unique Fire Ice deck I've ever seen. Yeah. Right. So what's Sasha going to do? Probably Lena into something. Or just okay, he's seeing if he can bait out the Camelot block so he can choo, choo lane. It doesn't seem like Chantel wants to take the bait, though. Yeah, that's fair. They're what, both on 3-3 now? Yeah. Sasha's checking his break zone, see if he's got any Lena targets, I'm guessing. He has the Knight in hand, so he can always pitch that to revive. Then he'll be sitting on Lena and Triple Knight, which is a very nice board. He does need to be aware that that camera knot will probably turn to water at the beginning of the turn, and then it's going to be much more difficult to get rid of. Yeah, he's probably going to just play Lena Knight. And then yeah, it looks potentially like going, for, going for the Lena Knight play. Yeah, um, we'll see if he then goes for the Cloud of Darkness on the Camelot. Yeah, yep. there he goes. There you go. Yep, target the Camelot for minus ten thousand. Very nice. He had to get rid of it that turn. Yeah, for sure. It's the thing with Fire Ice—you can just go wide because they don't have much AOE removal. No, no. You'll Probably lose the cloud from the Emperor. But other than that, he's got a pretty good board. It's very wide and very solid board as well. There's nothing but 8Ks and a 9K there. Yep. And when the board's going this wide, um, snow doesn't do much. Is she going to play the Emperor? Yeah, 5 CP. There we yeah, go. There we go. Target in Cloud Darkness, <laughs> as expected. Well done. <laughs> Sasha checking if the recording's working. Yeah, it's definitely working, Sasha. Don't worry. <laughs> and just a pass. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh. Nico is the draw for the turn. Sadly, just missing enough CP to go Cagnazzo Nickel for the turn. <laughs> right, so sorry about that. We just had a quick technical difficulty. Uh, what did we miss? So, swinging with Lena after playing Cagnazzo, reducing everyone's power by 2, 4, 6, 8, wait, 4k, there we go. Uh. Nice aggressive swing. 
And she has to block now, she's on six damage. Something's going under the bus. Probably the cell. It's lock, lock. Yep. fair Lock's enough. going under the bus. Very aggressive turn by Sasha. It passes the turn. Now. Okay. Okay. But will it be enough to save her? <clears throat> Reveals three falls from the <laughs> nail. That's a good hit. So we've got the Laswell open. But does she have any cards in hand? Uh, two. Two cards in hand. Yeah. She can play the Laswell. And uh, Dullum frees the Cagnazzo, but is it enough? Uh, she'll put her on, you'll put Sasha on, what is it, five damage? So he's currently on three. Yep. But uh, Chantel would die in the swing back. Yeah, there's the lock. Forcing the discard. I don't think those poroms are ever going to see the field. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Sasha might have it next game. Played on Nicole, reduce two by four. And just swing with everything. Oh, okay. there's back. the cloud of darkness. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that pretty much. The nail. Minus 12,000. There isn't much Nail can do about that. Um, Sack all the backups. And yeah, make a Chan Chantel can remove two backups to do 8,000 to one um, and then boost the Nail. I think it's up by 2,000. Yeah. Or if you remove That's two. To, to 11. So that would keep it alive. It would leave Chantel with very, very little. Or no, just... that's, that's enough. That's enough for Chantel. Oh. She's saying GG. And there's game one. She could have kept it alive by just sacking two backups, boosting it by 4k. Uh, been yeah. been on 13. Yeah, yeah. It's... But again, it wouldn't have done much. Yeah, that would, uh, Chantel would have had to chump block with everything, and yeah. Sasha's board was far too wide. So there's not much, yeah, that she could have done, really. Right, so that leaves Sasha locked out water. And uh, we'll see what his second deck is. Cool, we're just waiting for the uh, second game to get started. So how did you feel that first game went? Uh, it was a bit unfortunate. From the looks of it, Fire Ice started off with a pretty poor hand. Uh, one four drop back up into a forward and then a turn of not really playing much. While Water just exploded back up into back up. Get a nice curve, then start with the aggression. And yeah, just kind of snowballed from there. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, here we are. Game two, that was nice and quick. Ooh, Ice Lightning. Oh, we're going Ice Lightning with Sasha. Um, oh, and he's mulliganed. Okay, so the only backup there is lightning. It's not a bad one either. No. Um, Sasha <coughs> can always play the snow turn one and then search out another lightning if he wants to. We'll see what he does. It's not actually a bad play. So it looks like Chantel's going first. Um, ooh, oh, Agrius. Agrius. Nice. Very nice. Okay, <laughs> right into a Viking. Right off the top, draw a card. Didn't have to go through much of her deck to get that one. Did she get the Renoa though? Oh, no, no, no Renoa. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see uh, how Sasha responds. Right. Uh, Sasha's just asking you whether the deck's been shuffled. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Genesis now, but this is a very aggressive start from the Lightning Ice. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure whether he's going to play the Snow Turn 1, just so he's got an answer to the Agria, so he's not taking 2. Yeah. Yep. Playing the Snow, discarding anything. The Jinnai? Is he going for the Jinnai or the Alba? Uh, Alba probably makes more sense. There always pick it up, yeah, with the uh, Diana. Yeah. Sorry, is it Diane? Diana? Uh, I think it's Diane. No, oh, Diana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd think after playing for so long, I'd know. But 
So yep, we've got the lightning. So uh, any Final Fantasy 13 forward, lightning can tap and give it haste. Currently, uh, Snow is the only Final Fantasy 13 forward on the board, which uh, doesn't really do much at the moment. It does slow down the Agrius player though. It does, yeah. Um, I don't know whether he'd be tempting to crash with the Agrius or not. It's always very situational because they could just play another one and then it kind of swings the board. Yeah, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? Because you don't want to take too much early damage from the Agrius player. I mean, the snow's done its job. Um, mm. So crashing it with the Agrius is not the worst thing in the world, but then you'll just take a hit from the Viking as well. Okay, so we've got a Melwib. Probably Searching getting that water forward. Probably that second Agrius. Maybe Cloud of Darkness. Oh, a Viking. Viking. Okay. Okay. Do we have a Layla in hand, perhaps? Oh, the anticipation. Oh, okay, yeah, there yeah, we go. Layla and Viking. That Jinai could become very valuable later on. I mean, it's looking pretty valuable now. Um, Right. So, and just passing turn. Fair okay. enough. Right, okay, Rigdia for the draw, and we've got Sidiclan Gully as well. well. Rigdia, another pretty good card. Ooh, getting rid of the Janai. Fair okay. enough. So it's 3,000 targeting the Layla. Um, Rigdia is a Final Fantasy 13 forward as well, so Lightning can give it haste. And he's dulling the Agrius, okay. Going for the aggressive play. I think you have to match the aggression of the, uh, the Agrius player. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she took the damage, interesting. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I mean, it can't. They can't get through the rig deer anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, when you don't block with Viking, she ever has a cloud of darkness in hand. The problem is, is uh, Sasha has now got double Illu in hand, so a simple shawl is going to clear those Vikings straight off the board. But uh, as far as Chantel knows, he's only got the one. Oh, there's the third Viking. Got a Viking army going. Have we seen any ice cards yet? No. It just seems to be Mono Water Agrius. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got the, you've got the booster for Knights there as well. Yeah, it might just be Mono Water. Mono Water Agrius, okay. I mean, I haven't really been paying attention much to the discards, so she might have discarded some ice cards. I've not seen any ice cards. Oh, fair enough. Um, yeah, Velia. That's an interesting choice. Perhaps the Agrius. Oh, playing the hoodie, getting the ICP up. It's kind of like he's he started it extremely aggressively, and now he's kind of slowly building up now that he's stabilised. Mm -hmm. Wow. He got the Diana. <laughs> ah, playing the Alua. Oh, okay. Oh, he's going. He's going for the aggressive. Yeah. Is he going to show this turn? I wonder. Okay, he's going to check. He's going to see if he can bait the Agrius into blocking. Uh, I think it's one of those situations where if you swing with a seven K and you have an AK on board, you know you have the shawl in hand. <laughs> oh, took the damage and passed. Okay, fair okay. enough. I mean, it makes sense because the rig deer can't get through, um, even with Shoal. Yeah. Um, and Illua on her own would crash. Yeah. So, yeah, it makes sense. He needs something that's... Snow is the only thing that can realistically get through at the moment. 
So if he draws a reasonably large forward that he can play next turn, then yeah, he's laughing. The Agrius player is on six cards, one more, and that's a 10k Agrius. So it does become a little bit more of a problem. It's always tricky trying to figure out what to do. You know your opponent most likely has Illua in hand, so you can't even swing without activating the uh, snow and losing your board. Yeah, that's the downside, isn't it? You're like, if you're suspecting the shoal's there, you're like, what do you do? Porom, okay. So the Agrius has gone up now. Yep. Um, Porom looking at top three. Obviously, Chantel does not have to show which one that she picks. Must be a tough decision. So if there's just very few cards that kind of help out. She's going to make the attack with the Agrius. Uh, the thing with that, even if she attacks, once Shoal happens, that'll go back down because you'll lose two of your vikings yeah porom doesn't even do much against this field i mean it cancels the uh oh, there's a swing and most likely oh, about okay. to lose the board yeah there it is okie doke so that activates the snow it reduces it. the vikings so yep. the aggress would go down yep that's a 6k aggress now most likely gonna Take the 7k. Chantel does draw two from the two Vikings that have just left the field, though. Mm -hmm. There's the snow block, and there's the Agrius. And the Agrius is out of here. Yeah. Sasha waited very patiently to play that. Just wait for the opportune moment, and it was there. Yeah, there's very little you could kind of do against that. <laughs> Sasha just confirmed that Agrius was indeed 6,000. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things. Sometimes you have to take a gamble. He might have the Allure, he might not. If not, it's pretty good swing. Is that three in hand? The Chantel has? Oh, I think it might be two. Oh, Ramza. Oh, that was a, a bad time to draw that Ramza after that board's been diminished. Okay, so it's Water Lightning Knights. First Lightning card we've seen. Uh, I did see a Fasoya discard, so yeah, it's definitely Water Lightning Knights. Interesting. It's just very unfortunate backup line then. Snow's making the attack. Oh, he drew another yeah, Illua. Drew, wow. drew another Illua for turn. The worst part is he had that Herdy as well on board, so he could get back the Illua from breaks on. Wait, what happened there? I'm not quite sure. Oh, I'm assuming he's playing the Herdy. Wait. Oh, yeah, there we go. Herdy figured as much <laughs> there we go yeah so her do you could break it to get back any final fantasy ta2 character into your hand so we assume what happened there is that swing with sasha, snow. sasha swung with the snow yeah um blocked with ramsar and then he cracked herdy and picked up the shawl yep yep uh, Porum sitting on 3,000 at the moment. Uh, okay, okay. So, swung with pretty much everyone. Okay, so tap free. Oh, rain. rain. I like Interesting. Rain. Also, a knight, so gets the boost from Avelia as well. Oh, Alba. Alba's the draw. Oh. Does that secure game? Oh. I'll see it into Alba. Uh, yeah, and Dole, Dole the Rain. Yeah, and that's game.
Wow. Unless there's any EX bursts that happened here. I think she's on six damage. Oh, no, four. No, four damage. Okay. Yeah. So 6,000 from the Alcid, and then double that. Wow, what an incredible draw. And he has the Shoal as well to get the Alcid in case something does happen. That does, unfortunately, secure the game. Oh, there we go, there we go, and good game. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, and Sasha wins. Very good, cool. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Um, yeah, congratulations, Sasha. You are the first winner of the Card Cavern Cup. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.